let's solve one super cute geometry which is in front of you i want please pause the video and try to solve this question in this question a b and c d are parallel as given so it's a trapezium a b is 20 unit c d is 6 unit and these two isosceles trapeziums non parallel sides are 6 unit then we need to find the length of e f if e and f are the midpoint of respective diagonals so if you know the formula or you can say you know the direct outcome of joining the midpoints if in the trapezium the parallel side length is a and b then the joining midpoints the line segment length is actually equal to a minus b divided by 2 you can get this formula with the help of similarity so ab is 20 unit cd is 6 unit we can say this one is 20 minus 6 divided by 2 is actually equal to 7 unit and you think this one is the answer then you are 110 percent wrong this one is not the answer so what is the actual answer of this question let's check whenever we have a trapezium and these type of portions came in our examination or in any aptitude driven test you need to work on the basic concept cd is given 6 and the ab is given 20 first of all we are going to draw perpendicular so this one is perpendicular say dx cy is perpendicular say cy since these two lines dc and ab are parallel and when we draw perpendicular we create a rectangle so we can say cxx length is also 6 by the help of congruency or the similarity we can prove that ax and yb both are same assume these two length are z so we can say 6 plus 2z is actually equal to 20 because z plus 6 plus z so here z is actually equal to 7 so we get z is equal to 7 now check what is the length of ab and bc given these two length are 6 and 6 first of all we work on the basic construction like this we get the values of the bases then we work on the triangle formation or the trapezium formation Check CYB or DXA. We know YB is the base, and if this angle is 90 degrees, this one is hypotenuse. But base is more than hypotenuse. Is it possible? No, this is not going to possible. So we can say this trapezium is not possible. If you are going to solve this question and you are getting the answer like 20 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 7, you have learned only the half cook concept right now we are in the era of the modern maths and the aptitude driven maths so they could ask question on the basis of the formation of triangles formation of trapezium now whenever you get a question like this what is the length of the midpoint or some other lengths in the trapezium first of all check the trapezium is possible or not if your trapezium is possible then you could get or you can use any of the value so how we are going to check the possibility of trapezium there are mainly two possibilities first hypotenuse should be more than the base or the second any third side should always be less than the sum of sides or the difference of sides more than so now i think whenever you are going to solve these type of questions be it in your exams or in any aptitude test and you have multiple options of trapezium first check is trapezium possible or not then work on the other options okay so i hope i am crystal clear with you whenever you have three to four options and you have to solve question of trapezium first check which option is correct then also check is trapezium possible or not then the trapezium which one is possible and satisfy your condition would be your answer so this one is a super cute geometry in which possibilities is required before solving the question so answer this question is trapezium is not possible so answer cannot be seven god bless you milte hain concept mein with a new learning and the new information myself from ye god bless you happy learning and bye bye